Hey everyone, welcome to the first person gameplay commentary. My name is Dry Bear, and this time around, play my main man Zeus in the left lane. Zeus is a magic damage dealer, more of a bursty uh, team fighter. He doesn't. He has a, a really strong level one engagement, like low, low. I'm talking about like invade engagement, like level one. Um, but his laning phase is pretty weak. He doesn't really have that strong of laning phase, and he's very punishable. He doesn't really have any native escapes or anything. He can be immune to slows during the activation of his two. But beyond that, he's kind of weak in the early game. His mid game is very strong, and his late game is devastating. So he's very, very powerful in team fights. But one of the reasons why people don't enjoy playing Zeus or feel like they feed or Zeus sucks is because you have to be very careful in the early game, uh, just because he's very weak um, and doesn't really uh, respond well to poor positioning or uh, poor forethought when you get invaded on or anything like that. But he is a very powerful character, and one of my you know all time favorite characters as well. Who does he have? He's got Girdle. Okay, we're good. So I'm going to pick up my third ability. So his passive is called Overcharge, and anytime I land a basic attack or an ability on anything, you see it'll apply a charge to them right there. Right there, you'll see that uh, charge being applied, that little thing. It stacks up to three times, and it can be detonated by my three, doing bunch. Uh, am I getting it? Okay, good. Just, I don't know if he wanted it or what. I just didn't want to... Anytime someone wants to do a buff, I just assume they want it. Um, I'm solo queuing right now, so this is a normal... First ability is called Chain Lightning. This is a shootout ball of lightning, which will bounce from target to target. For a total of five... T uh, bounce five times at max rank. For a total of six hits, it'll do magic damage and apply a charge on hit. Um, it'll also do uh, on hit effects like uh, Gem of Isolation or anything like that. So it'll apply a slow. Second one is called Aegis Shield. Um, this is a very involved ability. It has a lot of things that add to it. Uh, number one, it increases your movement speed. Number two, it'll increase your uh, magic and physical protections. It will also make you immune to slows. It'll make you run faster. And anytime someone hits you with a basic attack, you will reflect a portion of the damage back at them. And also, anytime anyone hits you with a basic attack during the activation of your shield, they will have a charge applied to them. So there's a lot. I mean, you can see it's a lot. Uh, so your protections, movement speed, immune to all slows, basic attacks will reflect 10% of the damage and apply a charge. So something to keep in mind there on that ability. And again, I'm playing kind of passive until Odin. Odin Zeus is a very, very strong lane, like incredibly strong. So once we level 5, we'll have that advantage there. Uh, what I can do is try and get some charges up. You don't really ever want to detonate one charge um, unless you're clearing a wave and you are like mid-level. Um, Zeus can't really clear a wave until about level 7 or level 8. Um, that's why he's not that great in the mid lane. Um, he just gets outpushed so, so easily. Uh, so the third build is called Detonate Charge, it's exactly what you think it is, it will detonate all active charges on any targets, uh, doing a multiplier effect, it'll do 1 times, 2.5 times, and then for the max rank, it'll do, uh, for 3 charges, it'll do 4 times magic damage um, listed on the ability, so obviously 3 charges is better than 2, 2 charges is better than 1, and 1 is really not very much damage at all, it's based um, exponentially rather than uh, linearly. Want to make sure you detonate at least 2 charges, you never really want to detonate 1 charge. Kind of getting poked here, uh, messing around. Ultimate is called uh, Lightning Storm. Exactly what you think it would be. It creates a cloud at the target location, which strikes down five times doing magic damage and applying a charge to everyone in the area. Very strong ultimate. You get a lot of charges out of it. Make sure I want to get those last hits. So he's going to get that. Cupid's actually kind of coming up as a really strong character. I'm surprised. Um, since his ultimate now applies cripple, um, and it's less reliance on mobility, um, he's becoming better and better. Uh, originally, he really wasn't very uh, viable just because his stun wasn't um, reliable and didn't have a constant cooldown. Um, and also was very, very react. Since it, it happens on a delay, unless you detonate something that explodes right away, um, it'll actually happen on a delay, uh, which means you won't uh, get that last hit. Come on. There we go. Ping on map for old. What? That's really distracting. We can do that. I'll keep that in mind. Oh uh, yeah, but, but Cupid's ultimate now applies cripple, which means you can't leap or dash out of his ultimate, which is really, really powerful. Um, so I mean, it, it, it'll, it'll, I think Cupid will start coming into the scene more often. Um, hopefully people will start picking it up and coming up with their unique strategies with Cupid. Um, I think Cupid Odin would probably be really strong, uh, laying down the Odin spears, and then the Cupid ultimate inside of it would keep anyone that who uh, originally could leap out of it uh, now can't leap out of it at all. Um, you know, like on her or anything like that. Once you get them caught, a lot of times the Odin spears won't work on characters that can leap. Um, but uh, Hades can jump out of our uh, Odin's ultimate, but um, Cupid can't. So if we catch him, we can drop out of my ultimate. It's a very strong combination, Odin, uh, Zeus. I think he picked, I don't know if he picked Odin before I did. I picked Zeus and locked right away, which I never do, but I just wanted to play my boy. My boy! We can probably go on this. So the goal here is uh, for him to go whenever he wants to go. I don't know what he's thinking, but he'll land down in the spears, and I can drop my ultimate inside of the spears, uh, which can't they can't escape. Well, Cupid can anyway. He's going to dash away. Hopefully, he doesn't go too crazy. Oh, 
One thing you can do with uh, Cupid's Harp, since you can control where it detonates, if it's, it's on top of you, you can run over to your minions, um, have it detonate on your minions if you want to pull the, the wave back, you know, if you want to play defensively. That's one of the big things, is like, Cupid's uh, stun and AoE isn't very, like, um, reliable on where it goes and what, what it does. Just because people can control. You know, if you hit a minion that dies when you hit it, uh, with the, the Harp Bomb, it'll detonate it and stun them uh, immediately, but... These guys are playing suit. You can see Hades is not using any of his mana. Cupid's barely using any of his mana. They're not very aggressive. And so it isn't either. Like, none of us have used anything. And I, since I'm Zeus, I don't really have the, the warrant to uh, initiate on anything. And again, since uh, Zeus's early laning phase is pretty weak uh, in general, you want to be very, very careful. That's the biggest tip I can give for new Zeus players is just play, play very passive in the beginning. Unless you get an opportunity to go, because Zeus can do some good damage, but he just doesn't have uh, the lane control or anything to... Go for it. See, that's a triple detonate. That's about half his HP. Um, so right there, I knew I had an opportunity to go because Cupid already dashed away, and he was by himself, so I decided to go for that. Am I lagging, or am I auto attacks? I have 120. So US East. Not bad at all. What I can do is kill this one off and then bounce this off of that to that for a free shot. And... Nope. Still looking for opportunity. I have so many consumables. I guess I'm just going to sit here and farm up. Farm on up. I have such good detonate. I have level 4 detonate, dude. If he can catch Cupid right now, inside of the spears. And that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. They just get caught. Odin died, unfortunately, but, you know, that's what it is. That's the damage output. That's the damage output. So we're going to put some damage in this tower. Normally, I wouldn't want to push a tower this early, um, just because I want to keep the lane for farming. Um, but since towers are so freaking valuable, can Hades jump out of my ultimate? Yes. <laughs> he most certainly can. He, he initiated in there, so that was a good reaction by the Odin. Um, apparently, he didn't know that Hades could do that, but since Hades jumped in, um, yeah. Did good. Um, I guess he didn't know, but uh, Hades can jump out of the ultimate. I'm gonna detonate that through. The blue buffs back up. I kind of want to just keep keep on grinding on this tower. Towers are so valuable. I didn't watch out for my uh, flank. Uh, a lot of times, okay, so both are. A lot of times, smart players will not come back to the lane through the lane. They'll come through the jungle and flank you while you're pushing. Um, just because most people will just stare at the back of the tower and wait for someone to show up um, and won't be looking to their side. So, uh, you know, if you're sitting in that situation like I just was, yeah, I kind of like looked over to the jungle while I was pushing the tower just to make sure they don't flank me. Which they might be doing right now. The sign's mid. They're probably doing a buff. They're probably doing a buff. I would think. Um, Movement speed could be very, very valuable. I don't know if they're gonna want to come this way or not. I have my ultimate now. Looks like they did get a buff. Cupid went into the backside most likely. Is Cupid here? There he is. Movement speed. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Now if I can get this on him. Since there's no minions there and I have level 3 chain lightning, that would have bounced a bunch, but I missed. That's really what I'm trying to look for, is look for opportunities where there's no minions around and just gods, and you just bounce those chain lightning. Landing chain lightnings is pretty much, like, the the hallmark of a good Zeus. Knowing when to shoot it, and where to land it, and the timing and everything, and being able to land it too. Being able to land chain lightnings is huge on Zeus. Is he going to get it? He's going to try. Cupid's out of mana already? This guy's going crazy. Mid's accounted for, right's accounted for, so we can push this pretty hard. I don't know how they can do here. I have an Aegis, so if he tries to pull me in. I'm going to wait for the tower. Is it going to stick? Oh, I just need a little bit more. I can bait it out with the minions. He's going to hang out. 
If I can hit with a chain lightning, I can kill him. Or I can just wait for a charge. It's missing, actually. Let's see if he wants to come interrupt me. If he's just gonna let me, I'll just go. I'll just gi. I'll just gi. There we go. You can, uh, you just shield out of the base, does give you a movement speed buff. You see the damage output there. You just have to be very, very calm and focused and land your abilities at the right timing. Oh, Cubic got, oh, nice job. This is all about landing at the right time. It's not just about spamming. Clean that up. Ooh, double kill, or one kill in the right lane. Nice job. Nice job. I'll leave that one alive for a free bounce when this chain lightning comes back up. So it'll bounce to him and then back to him and kill him right there. Good business. I can go get the damage buff too. Or I can gank mid. Oh, this is going to be dirty. This is going to be dirty. Ultimate. There you go. Could have placed that a little better, but... I want to make sure I waited as long as I could on that one. Hey, buddy. Ooh, they got all kinds of business coming in. Hey, he's from behind. Not good. Probably going to pop an ulti. Maybe. I don't know. There it is. And that's the damage output. Just gotta make sure you get that triple detonate as often as you can. And be very, very calm and focused. That's the way I play Zeus anyway. It's just very, very slow, calm, methodical. Make sure when I get the opportunity, I capitalize on it immediately. Zeus isn't like a big team fighter. He's not supposed to be in there for the entire time, running back and forth, exchanging uh, blows and doing all that. He really is all about um, that big moment where everything lines up perfectly and he gets a good uh, ultimate off or a big detonate and doing a lot of burst damage and controlling the fight that way. Controlling the fight. Oh, get some of that. Yes. I freaking love Zeus. I freaking love him, man. He's my baby. He's my barber. Ooh, barber, barber. Barber, barber. What you can do is hit that twice, and then go for the bounce. It'll bounce through all the things, and then boom. Hello. Hades ultimate is down. I think Cupid's ultimate is down, too. I know Hades used his. I want to do... I unfortunately missed that and took a bunch of shots to the face, but again, when there's no minions, you can land a chain lightning like that. It is huge. It is huge, especially 2v1. If you can land just it's just two gods, it'll bounce back five times and get three charges on both gods, doing um, three hits on each, which is huge. I mean, three uh, magic damage sources, and then oh, Let's see if they keep pushing. They're spreading out, which is smart. That'll at least prevent him from wanting to go in. Uh, his ultimate might be up. We'll see. Uh, mid is still there, and right is still there. So we're still covered to push this. Clear all that out. Use my mana potion. I still have my ultimate if he wants to go. If he can capture them. That'd be good. He's gonna probably ulti. Uh, what is going on, dude? I'm lagging like a mofo. What is going on, man? So he's got his his uh, little movement speed buff. Looks like he wants to initiate. I like pop my Aegis, and you're wondering what, why I was so like weirded out in that last situation is because I popped my Aegis as soon as he ulted. Oh god, he's gonna crack him. I'm dead. Uh, so why I was why I was so weirded out there is because I popped my Aegis, which didn't gray out or anything. I just started getting dragged to the middle and not taking any damage. Like, I was lagging super hard. Like I was just I don't know what it was. I popped my Aegis and I was being dragged into the center of his ultimate for whatever reason. Couldn't understand. 
and I was so boggled by it that I just got flanked and killed. And that's one of the reasons why. I mean, no matter how how uh, good you are at Zeus, you can get caught out so easily because all he really has is Aegis Shield. He kind of just runs around. That's why I picked up Sprint. Um, it's pretty much the only way you can counteract the fact that he has no survivability of, of, of any kind. He's such a baby. Once you get caught out of position, you're just dead. Um, you can try and kill as many people as you can before you go down, but most likely will end up going down. That's just one of the downsides of Zeus. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention, man. Sorry. I was still trying to figure out what the heck just happened to me. Is he going to take the blue? He's going to take the blue. I'm going to come over here, help out this lane a little bit, farm up. Now I have my slow on my uh, three, or on my one. So my chain lightning, every time my chain lightning bounces, it'll apply the slow from gem. So it'll apply the slow, bounce around, and then bounce back to the first person maybe, and slow them again. It'll just keep slowing, slowing, slowing. It's very strong. Clearing that up. So we can come over here and gank. I don't know if they have wards or not. They might. Is he going? That detonate. So I landed the last little uh, chain lightning there to slow him. You see the slow is really powerful on the chain lightning. I'll just bounce around and just slow, 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 slow. Looks like Neath. Did Neath die? Oh no, she's is she left? Oh, she's right. <laughs> I'm like in the middle lane about to go defend. He's like, defend middle lane and spam pings me. I don't understand. I don't understand people, some people's thought processes sometimes. It's like I'm here and I'm already doing it and he pings me and... Thinks it's important to tell me to do so. And now's about the time. You see, I'm clearing waves very, very easily now. Uh, whereas, what the frick? Okay. Weirdo. So I have an ultimate now. I'm going to pop this, make sure I have enough mana to combo when I come over here. They're going to push the tower. Okay. If he tells me to defend this lane, I'll freaking choke you. Once it ends, is it going to end? Dang it. He had one more leap. I had one more leap, unfortunately. So he was just pinging me to tell me to kill that guy. I guess I'll try and kill some people. I could have ulted, but it would have been very slim. It would have been a slim chance. He's going to get that damage buff. I can't really farm up that CDR very easily without exposing myself. Hades is going to go home. So he's going to chill out for a second. I got some good money. I probably want to back here just because Poseidon's on his way over. And then there's on her. And Hades has his ultimate, I'm pretty sure. He's going to try and dash me. But it ain't going to work. So I'm going to get some uh, just some pen. Just because pen is really good on uh, Zeus. It's good on anyone, pretty much. Pen is very, very valuable. Penetration, that is. What do we got? So we're doing pretty good. We're about 2k. Is he, is he serious? Defend left, left. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'll defend it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Since you're so freaking bossy. Impale, maybe? Impale, maybe? Yep, he tried. Didn't work out. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. My game is lagging so super hard right now. Look at that. What is this? Dude, what's my ping? 120. Why is it lagging out so hard? Poseidon is missing. Emir's dead, so it's just Poseidon that can show up at this point. Just Poseidon. Let's see. kind of want to hit this tower. He might go for an impale, so I don't really want to cut the corner too tightly. Gonna look for an opportunity to impale. He's been kind of passive. Poseidon's mid looks like they're all ganging up on him there. Free shot on this minion, which will bounce between them and slow them. His leaps on cooldowns. What I can do is this. Should have waited. I think he just there. 
Always want to wait on your detonates. Don't get greedy like that. Always wait on your detonates. It's always worth it. Just hang out. Wait for the duration of the the, the detonates rather than detonating you right away. Because a lot of people will pop the uh, their Aegis amulet and try to get avoid the detonate. But if you pop it, if you would pop it later, they'll just wait. Hearts. Oh, they're gone. There's a mirror. There's Cupid. I'm gonna get this movement speed while I have teammates to help me. Be careful. Watch both of them. Let's wiggle around. Get these hearts. Oh, there's one. Yum. There we go. Zed, we go. Nothing. Oh, so close, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. Nobody followed. It was just me. I missed that chain landing, unfortunately, and then Hades came over. I was going to cut left, but I didn't really have the time to use the animation of the ultimate. Everyone kind of headed home. Who dog? Let's get that rod. Let's get that rod. Doing good, though. Odin's having a tough time, but he's got a lot of assists. Looks like we're we're up by a good amount. Just because of the towers. I mean, this is Look at the difference in gold. I mean, we really... I mean, it's the towers, man. The tower gold thing, I don't... I, at first, I thought it would be interesting, and really, I thought it would extend out the game. But once you get a few pushes in, it's just like, the gold difference is incredible. My god, it's so hard to counteract the new tower buff. I don't know if I agree with it or not. Uh, I, at first, I thought it would be good, and I'm starting to like it less and less as I play more ranked and more, you know, long games. It's just like, if you get a bunch of tower kills early on, it's just so dirty. Double ultimate in synchrony. He can leap. Oh, he's going to leap out too. There it is. There's Cupid. They're in a lot of danger. Oh, one gets out. Who's the other one? Yeah, is he going to get out? Oh, he's trying to get the kill. Cupid. Oh, last little hit there. I'm coming. Amir just pushed our right tower. Smart though. Smart. He needs that gold bonus. Pretty bad. Oh, I can, I can kill at least two of these right now. Amir's gonna be coming. Amir's still pushing, actually. Let's D this up. Does Honor want to go help? Should I let the tower go just to kill Honor? Maybe. Maybe not. No. Not, 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 not. God dang, dude. I don't want this tower to die. Toot? Oh, two, one. I was like, what? Is that Toot? It better not be Toot. Oh, he's dead. He dead. Yo, 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 yo. Check it. Check it, yo. Yo. Let's get that business, yo. Check it. He's going to clean this up pretty quick. Most likely. See if we can't clear this and then go back to the lane to farm up some more money. Some oh you son of a gun! What a jerk! What a jerk! Heart seeker up underneath. Still hasn't died either. Steal that last hit. What is the most OP god in your opinion? I don't know. It's been changing. It used to be Vamana. I thought Vamana was really really strong for what he had available. Oh, her might be on his way over. We have no wards either. We ain't got no wards. Looks like Poseidon wants to come over. Poseidon, maybe? He's still hanging out. Cupid's here, though. It's so laggy, dude. I don't get it. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Okay, dokie. Poseidon might be on his way here. Hades is mid. On her's missing. There's on her. Is that Poseidon? No, that's a mirror. Maybe you're running around being a goof. Being a big fat goof. Use up all. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, he wants to fight it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you. Come on. Come on. Just some free farm there. Some free poke. If they want to go, I'm down. If they want to go, I am down. I am down. Down.com. Uh. Let's get that movement speed buff. Since Odin went home. Uh, I want to beat Neath to it. It would be better on Neath, but I want it. But I want it! Give it to me! He's gonna let me have it. They're not doing Fire Giant. They could be doing Gold Fury, but they're not. But they not. All oh, they want to do it, huh? You stop. Free bounce target from the Gold Fury. Which didn't bounce to freaking anything. Okay. Okay, game. Probably didn't bounce to on her or Amir. We lost Cupid. We got the Gold Fury. They're probably gonna want to initiate here. Oh, uh, there's a Poseidon. Come on, back off. Why me? Huh? See, I can't be slowed. Free bounce target there. Freaking move! Donked. Poseidon's over here. You're probably already backed. Cupid's over here. Who dog? Uh, Poseidon just barely got away there. They kind of dove on me, but it wasn't going to be enough. Poseidon got solo. Solo dolo. Once I finish this raw, I'll be doing so much damage. Some people like going attack speed on Zeus. I hate it. I think it's a bad build. I don't like going attack speed or hybrid Zeus at all. I think he's all about the burst damage, the magic damage, and the team fight prowess, and nothing else. I wouldn't go. I would not go uh, attack speed or hybrid Zeus ever. I've tried it extensively. Never ever found a point where I was like, this is what I want to do. Ever. I think he's all about the burst. I think people are just looking for an opportunity to make him good, you know? Like, they just don't like the fact that he's, like, maybe they, they, they couldn't um, get him any kills early on, or they kept dying in the laning phase and they couldn't come back um, and stay ahead. And it's just, like, one of those things where it's like, uh... I don't know. All you, all you need is three charges. It's not about, you know, getting him up faster, maybe, but you're losing burst by going for, like, Fatalis, Demonic Grip, like, all that stuff. I don't think it's a good build. I do not like it, Sam. I am. That Emir is so fatty. Let's see if we can't throw that up there. Be careful, right. On her's coming. Be careful, left. They're already Back. here. Huh. Oh, come on! Where is everybody? Come on! What the frick? Oh, my lord. Where were you, my friend? This guy was pushing mid the whole entire time. That sucks. That's so flanked there. So super flanked. I'm dead. Freeze? Oh jeez. Oh, the pop. And that's it. And that is it. What do you mean really? We're pushing mid while they wiped us, man. Pushing mid while they wiped us. 
I'm up in 50 seconds. It's up to Cupid and Odin. Cupid and Odin trying to finish this left. Looks like enemy team is going to back off here. Look for an objective. They probably will end up going for the fire giant. The goal here will not be up for another minute and a half or two minutes or so. It's looking for a fire giant attempt. Maybe going for the mid tower. And that's kind of curious how that, that new system does uh, take away from the objectives almost. Because if you get two towers versus getting objective, it's almost better early on in the game. Because you're not going to make much use of the fire giant buff. So if you get two towers or three... 15% gold increase is huge. Good, good catch. Good catch. Hopefully you can pick him off here. That yeah, Cupid's dead. That was a really good catch. Oh, Cupid died? What? No! Cupid! Cupid! Oh, jeez. What do they got? I think I'm just going to go for some pure damage. I might go for a spear, to be honest with you. Just more pen. They have a lot of magic protection. More pen, and then every time it bounces on the chain lightning, it'll apply a stack of that spear, which is good. Or my ultimate will stack that up nicely. Poseidon's over there farming. I got a stream in 20 minutes. Never good. Did they get fire giant? Probably not. Probably not. Honor's over there. I don't think they got it. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Sir, what are you doing? Freaking troll minions, I swear. The trolliest of minions. Free damage. Oh god. And you can see like once I got caught out, like I'm not like I'm not gonna be a um you know, monkey or an on her or anything that could just jump over a wall or juke or anything, I'm just gonna be dead. Like at that point, I was just caught out and there's nothing I could do. I need this damage buff pretty bad. If I get this damage buff and we get a team fight, we can wipe him here. I see it. Thanks, man. How'd you see him? Did you see him? How did you see him? Did you use the ward I placed? Is that how you saw him? That's good. Can't even counter ward for me, can you? Too busy pinging me about the vision that I gave you. That's cool. That's cool, man. That's cool, man. Neath is all crazy. We need to wrap this game up. We need to wrap this game up. Let's force some engagements. Opportunity. Oh. Arrow away. That was a good pick. That was a good pick. Easy damage. Plus the slow on my chain landing. Super strong. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't quit. Don't quit. No, keep going, man. End it. Dude. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy the oh, man. They're being all safe. Okay. We still have plenty of time. Maybe at least 30 seconds. That's going to be game, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate your views and subscriptions. And I look forward to seeing you in my next game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.